Hello everyone. Welcome to Chirax MySQL DB tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to create master setup replication in Ubuntu. So first we will go through that. What is the database replication? Database replication is the frequent electronic copy of, copying of data from one database in one computer to another database in another computer. So means that there is a two database servers are there. So one database server where whatever the data we are changing, whatever the data we are inserting into the database, that would be automatically replic replicate to another data, another server. So, so here I am using two database server, one is 192.168.177.129 and second one is 130. So one I am just uh, given the name for the master another is for the slab so previously in previous videos we have already seen how to install the mysql in ubuntu server so let i'm going to skip this one and i'm going through the part one so let me access both the database server on my database server so just insert your password then you will be able to log in so this is the mysql master database and let me create uh, one more And let me change the color for that. So this is second terminal. So I logged in with the both the server, one is master, another is my slab server. So just check the name root at the rate mysql master and this one is root at the rate mysql slab. So I log in with the dpt, dpt my uh, user I created while installing the uh, Ubuntu. So both the servers I logged in. Now next. Log into your master server, edit and modify the configuration in MySQL server. So this is the part. So where we can con uh, edit the configuration. So let me open in master server. This is my master. Here, pi etc inside this is a MySQL MySQL dot slash MySQL d dot config. So here we can able to see. This is my configuration file. I will change the basic setting first this showing the comment this line so this line is already commented here is the line and next and the below line <coughs> end of the file so I'm just copy this line this is for the log bin window binary log file and relay log file so copy this and go to the end of the file click i and insert so 
so i have inserted server id i am giving the server id one this is a bin log binary log file path and binary log index path then the relay log path and relay log index path let me save this one escape colon right and wait insert it after that let me restart the mysql so system c system ctl restart mysql let me check and let me check the status system ctl status mysql so mysql is running that is in active so next restart the mysql and login with the mysql and i'm going to create the replicas user so i'm going to login mysql minus u root p password insert the password so i'm logged in with the mysql now let me create the user my replica for i'm just giving permission to slab identify with the native password yes, i'm copying this line so create user my replica and identify with the password admin at the rate one two three exclamation so enter create it next i'm give the permission for the user so grant permission for the slab on this user next i'm going to plus part of the memory utilize it will plus the memory for the grant uh, grant application and user all for the command so now i'm just showing the whatever the permission grant permission is there for this. so there is a permission for uh, slab for the databases in my replica on this particular IP. So first, uh, so let me check with the master status. So my file is by my bin. There is a four and position is eight sixty five. So this one is four and. 865 next backup all the databases so now i'm going to backup all the databases I, I have and i'll just import the databases to my secondary server we can lock the table also here if you want to just unlock the table then we can lock the table and we'll take the backup then we'll import the backup then we'll unlock the table so that is the lock process so i'm just this is for the demo purpose so i'm showing the how to take the backup so do not have don't run here i'm running with the outside so my sql minus your root then path is opt dump dot s go opt folder check yeah dump is created so the dump file is created now let me move to dump uh, move the dump file to my slab server at the same path and before doing this just go to the slab server and give permission to opt folder the recursive opt folder and <coughs> now let me scp scp dump uh, so dbt 192 130 opt let me insert the password of 130 server so 100 percent is completed so I'll just move to my secondary server now so first uh, 
configuration of master is completed now move to your slave server so slave server i'm going to configure again so here in the configuration i'll change something just like i'm i'm going to bind the address after binding the address i will go to the last and put has same uh, whatever we did in the first part and there is a server too there is a small change is that i am giving the server, uh, server id is equal to previously it was is one server id was one so that's all i'm changing this one into server id two and copy this below uh, all the lines the bind, binary log binary index relay log relay, uh, relay log index file and put it to the last quit right and quit let me restart my sql Let me check the status. So, status is active and running. Now, let me log in and check database working or not. I cannot be able to log in or not. So, yeah, it's working. So, exit. And I'm going to import the database let me go to the opt folder check so give the, give the permission dividend now unzip the file so i'm going to unzip this and check unzip the file in unzip and unzip file is removed so i'm just doing the unzip and <coughs> next i'm going to write the import command so this is the import command the database now The database imported is successfully i'm not getting any error so this part is completed now we specify the following details so now i'm going to create um configure the slave so first just stop the slab login my sql top slab then my log position check the log position in master that is 865 and this one window is 4 so i have a window for file number is 4 and this one 865 this line and configuring master my replica everything is correct Next, I am going to start the slab server. We started. Now I am going to show the status. So, status. so here the slab server is uh, running successfully see this one the slab io input uh, input output is running slab server is running yes and we have a, uh, everything i have a master log file is 5 this is changed to 5 157 let me check in the master type so my sql my sp so master 
digital status yeah this is 5 and 157 the file lock position is there and same thing is working with this so my master slave is connected now last part is verify the master slave replication so i am logging with the uh, mysql master p and i am going to create a database jira let me create create database jira so data is so here chirag is created chirag and in right side also here we will check so data bases yeah, chirag is created <coughs> let me check huge chirag so tab tables so we don't have any tables here and slab also will check the same thing so databases so tables so both the sided empty table is now now i'm going to create a table so Table is created. Now let me check in the right side. So table, table is showing DSC info. See, whatever I created into my master database and uh, master server that is created into my my slab server. Now let me check with the command slab from user info. We don't have any data. Here also select click from user info. Both the side we don't have any data. Let me insert one data. Insert into user info user info language and I'm giving the ID one first name Chirag last name Mahatu Koma and email address So data is inserted successfully and right side let me check so data is replicated so in this video we have learned how to do mysql master server replication in ubuntu and with the two different server both the server ip is given here and i have already shown the replication how to do the configuration for the replication so it's working fine and hope this will help and all the document and uh, all the notes and will be available on the site and it's on youtube also at youtube in base you will get a link for the document so thank you for watching hope this will help